Hello my dear students this is CA Praveen Jain and you are watching my YouTube channel PJ Classes. Now this video I am preparing after ICI giving their announcement with respect to July 2020 exam. Now after the announcement of ICI there are n number of questions which I am getting from students fraternity. So instead of answering one is to one I thought I will go with one to many option by preparing this video sir. So all students ka questions I have pointed out in this PPT sir and I will be addressing them one after the other sir. So as we all are aware sir ki ICA has issued an announcement in on July 15th 2020 sir and many points were clarified in that announcement but still those clarifications required further clarification for which we are preparing this video sir. So let us see. Let us see what were the questions which a student had in their mind, sir. So question number, I have pointed out all these questions, sir. So there were about majority seven questions which were pointed out by students, sir. So I will be answering all these things. Like what is this announcement all about? What do you mean by opt-out facility? Is it compulsory that we should exercise this facility? What about the fees if we go for opt-out facility? What about old attempt students? Sir, what is the procedure for exercising this facility? Will July exams be conducted? Very important question. Whether these exams will be conducted and what should student do? Whether they should exercise this option of opt-out facility or not, sir. So, all these questions I will be answering in this video, sir. Okay. Chaliya, sir. So, let us go for question number one. What is the announcement all about, sir? So, as we all know, sir, this announcement is with respect to uh, July 2020 exams. So this announcement is giving one clarification whether ICI is going to conduct July exams or not sir. Okay. So whether they will conduct or not for that another question is there we will discuss that also sir. And it has nothing to do with November 2020 students sir. So this announcement is only for those students who were writing the exam in July 2020 sir. Sir what is this opt out facility sir? Is it compulsory to opt out sir? Now, sir, various students were having issues, sir, thinking ki if it is a pandemic situation nearby our area, hai na, whether, whether we will be able to write the exam or not, sir. So, for those students, sir, ICI has given one announcement saying that ki if at all you have already submitted your application form for May 2020 exams, which are now going to be conducted in July 2020. And you are willing to carry forward, matlab not write this exam, you are willing to carry forward your attempt to November 2020, then you can opt out from the November, uh, sorry, July 2020 exam. Meaning, you need not write July 2020 exam, you can directly go for what, sir, your November exam, sir. Sir, will this be counted as one attempt? Answer is no, because you did not write the exam, you have gone for opt out facility sir so this will not be counted as attempt sir is it compulsory to exercise this option answer is no it is pure optional in nature sir so student who is more what you say specific about his health reasons specific about ki sir whether we will be able to write exams or not in this pandemic situation sir for those students ICI has given one option sir he was you can opt out from your july exam and you can now write your exam in the month of november sir <clears throat> next question sir what about the fees now this question will be there if student goes for opt out facility so if student goes for opt out facility what about the fees which is already paid sir what about exemption and what about attempt which was going to end in july can i say this is relevant for old syllabus students this is relevant for old syllabus students so what is the answer sir so ICA has given clarification in their announcements for this also sir if a student goes for this facility, then the examination fees which he has paid and the exemption which was going to end in this July month, both will get automatically shifted and carry forwarded to November exam. Sir. So, you need not pay even single rupee extra for your November exam. However, if for this attempt you have gone for only one group sir and November attempt may if you are talking about two groups sir then in this case maybe you have to pay that additional fee sir but they are not asking you to pay any single rupee for same exam sir same attempt same group sir. 
clear so this is one clarification which ICI has given so in fact this was very good sir and so indirectly you may say ki old syllabus have got one extension sir agreed or not sir so old syllabus student if he is going for opt out student option so can I say he will be now writing this exam in the month of November sir so indirectly again I am trying to tell you sir ki these exams are going to be conducted if you are going for opt out option then you have an option to write the exam in the month of November sir Agla question sir is there any extension of old is there any extension for old attempt students I already told you the answer but still a student who is from old attempt and wishes to write wishes to write May or July attempt and if he fails will he be able to write November attempt as per old syllabus golden question sir so both questions ke liye, my single answer is your old syllabus is getting extended by one more attempt so meaning if July exams if you fail meaning you have written the July exam and due to some reasons you could not pass this exam you can still write November exam or sir you have exercised opt out option so you did not want to write July exam you have exercised opt out option so can you can also write this exam old syllabus may in November uh, November attempt sir okay so this is for I am talking about old syllabus sir so this is for IPCC also and for final also okay so this is one point which I wanted to tell you sir sir what is the procedure for opt-out facility and so IJ has given you step-by-step -step procedure sir so they said on their website they will be now launching one web portal sir where you have to give declaration sir Time limit to give declaration is from 17th July to 20th, uh, sorry, 17th June to 20th June, sir. So, timing also they have mentioned, ki last application they will be receiving 11.59, oh, sir. So, jay say you submit this application, sir, you will be shifted to next examination cycle, which is your November, sir. And they have also mentioned that, kindly note, they say you have opted this option. Now, later on, if you want to come back to July exam, that is not possible. So you have to decide this option very very carefully sir whether to go for opt out option or not because once you exercise you cannot come back sir so FAQ number six sir will July exams be conducted very very important question sir whether these exams by ICI will be conducted so they were supposed to be conducted in May got postponed to July now in July whether they will be conducted sir now beautiful point I say wrote was we are determined we are determined sir so ICI is committed to serve even if one student is willing to appear for this exam meaning lakhs of students who are writing this exam even if one student is willing to write this exam ICI has shown their commitment to conduct the exam so can I say there is no point asking or or telling sir ki exams will be conducted or not However, ICI has also given one disclaimer, sir. We are committed, but can I say our commitment will depend on external factors also. If at all, day by day cases got increases, sir, central government, state government ka guidelines come, sir, and they say that ki during these situations, exams cannot be conducted, then they have to reconsider their decision. Whatever it is, they said they will be considering this in first week of July 2020. So our exams are on 29th July sir. So they will be considering reviewing the situation on 1st July 2020 sir. So here ICI has shown their commitment sir. Definitely we are going to conduct the exam. But either Anna, they are telling that our commitment will also depend on what sir government ka guidelines. If government guidelines do not allow us obviously. So Anna, there is no point we conduct the exam sir. So can I say still there is a chance still there is a chance whether exams will be conducted or not sir so this video is not to demotivate the students sir i am just trying to give clarification hana, whether this opt out option should be taken or not so last time i will conclude my answers whether this option should be exercised or not sir okay last question sir most of the students were asking this question sir sir this offer to ICI has given should we exercise this or not so what should student do should they exercise this option which option sir opt out option should they exercise sir my personal opinion if I am a student never ever I will go for opt out option 
I will consider myself to be for these exams only. Better do not exercise this opt-out option. I will give you reasons also substantiating the same, sir. Reason number one, sir, we have been waited, waiting for these exams for many months, sir. So can I say many students are preparing from December or January, five months or six months, they have spent their quality time and uh, some students might be also in employment, sir, foregoing their employment, sir, they have spent quality times for these exams. Sir, can I say, and uh, we don't want to again go forward, sir, November exam, sir. So this is one reason, sir. Second, voila, you have nothing to lose. Sir, imagine if you do not exercise this option, what maximum you will be losing, sir? Only exam fees. Agreed or not, sir? So this is the only thing which we will be losing. Next. And can I say, ICI is also telling what, sir? Ki boss, we are not saying 100% we are going to conduct the exam. We will again review the situation. We will again review the situation in the first week of July. So can I say, still there is a chance. So why should we unnecessarily opt out from this situation? Once we are opting out from this situation, it means further announcements of ICI are irrelevant. We will be directly shifted to what, sir? November, uh, this thing, sir. Agreed or not, sir? So, and next, however, if situation improves, meaning and, uh, uh, cases day by day comes down, sir, government issues guideline for conducting of exam. So, can I say whatever time you have spent for studying, sir, this will be useful. You will be able to write the exam. So, if hurriedly, if you go for opt out option, meaning it means you have lost this opportunity of writing this golden attempt. I always feel, sir, every attempt is a golden attempt, sir. Six months are very, very important in the life of students. Studying is important. Health is super important, sir. Now, imagine scenario, sir, situation gets improved and I say conducts the exam. But nearby your locality, situation does not improve. So better thing would be what sir, better don't write that exam then. And anyway, you were thinking of opt out facility only, no way. You were thinking of opt out facility, you wanted to write for November exam. So thing is what, now you will not write this exam sir. Max to max what will happen, you will forego your fees. And yes, it will be counted as one attempt. But can I say this decision you have taken considering your health reasons sir. And so everything was in your control sir but the thing is health is more important situation outside was more important but can i say always believe i say sir if situations are getting worse definitely they are not going to conduct the exam sir definitely they will come up with some other alternative but not conduct the exam sir agreed so these were some clarifications which i wanted to give you sir now other points which were written in the clarification sir so student has to do nothing now there will be one question sir sir opt out ke liye we have to do something sir we want to continue should we do anything nothing sir you continue with your preparation so if you do not go for declaration online webs online 17th go sir it means you are continuing the exam sir Anna? so you have to do nothing if you are willing to continue for this exam sir Similarly, if you want to change your exam center, sir, so the date will be available from 17th and it will be open up to 20th, sir. So these are similar dates given for your opt-out scheme also, sir. Sir, still there is no clarity with respect to what, sir, article shift. Whether this pandemic situation may, an article who was sitting at home, not going to office, sir, whether this will be counted as, what do you say, in the article ship period or whether it will be declared as a holiday, sir, that clarity is ICI still supposed to give. So, this one thing ICI has to clarify, sir. Okay. So, all in all, what I want to sum up, sir. Sir, most important thing is we are all here for writing the exam, sir. Sir, too many months of studying and not writing exam is not worthful, sir. Yes, health is more important, sir. If health permits, we can write exams. If health permits, we can do everything, sir. But can I say, I am not telling you to write the exam. I am telling you not to exercise this opt-out option, sir. So better do not do anything, sir. How things are going, continue in the same fashion, sir. So first week may when I say reviews the situation, if they think of continuing the exam, now you take your personal decision looking at your community sir whether it is worth enough to write the exam or not if yes better write down if no it's okay and so nothing more is nothing more is important than health okay so thank you very much for your patient listening ma always ensure that we have to find positive things from the situation around sir always have good vibes sir thank you very much jai hind fir milenge chalte chalte